Hello and welcome. Today I am doing a collaboration with the talented Mr. Roll Illustrations. I I think yeah, I went to him and asked him like, hey, you wanna do a collab? He's like, yeah, sure, sounds cool. So we're doing a collab and honestly I didn't really expect to do a collab, but I just really liked his work and I wanted to do a Pokemon themed one and he said yes, yeah, so I was so happy about that. So yeah, I am doing a collaboration and then and in this collaboration, like I said earlier, it is Pokemon themed, but this is basically I curated an original Pokemon, it's not from the actual show or whatever, and finished it and then I gave it to him and then he made a trainer based off of it and it turned out so good. I'm so happy with this. Honestly, I think this is these are this is like one of the artworks that I actually took my time on. As in I literally took my time on and it's like I did the line art. I was so relaxing, like, I forgot how relaxing line art can be, like, I took my time with the line art, the coloring, I'm trying to think, I th it took me about two or three days to finish it all together because I did not want to rush this. I think the first day it took me like an hour because I did the, the, the baseline and then the clean outer line, I think that took me about an hour and then I stopped because I didn't want to overdo it. Because when I get tired of a drawing, I'll I'll be fine with the line art. And then when I get to the coloring, I just want to hurry up and get it done. So I am so glad I taught myself that during this drawing. But honestly, I feel like this little club drawing project did teach me a lot personally with between just trying out new, what kind of a new, I don't even really want to call it painterly because I don't, it's not really painterly, but just a new way of coloring that I normally don't do which I've dabbled with a little bit off camera but I'm glad I decided to do it in this collab but like I said I was trying to make it look like Pokemon it might not look exactly like the actual Pokemon but I did close enough and honestly I'm really proud of this and really proud of this really proud of this so yeah I will probably duck in and out with the commentary so I'll just let the music play until I have something else to say coloring um when i was doing the planning stages for this guy Elian, his name is Ryklo by the way i i did like i think eight color like little thumbnail color thingy so i just copied the line art of him and then just kind of messed with the hue and saturation and then also did a few different colors and i kind of i went with the more neutral rock doll one because I didn't really want him to be bright and colorful because even before I came to Mr. Ryklo here I had like four other Pokemon that I was thinking that I wanted to do it was either a Rhino or was it a Lemur or a Hummingbird and the other one I did was it would have been a water I guess a water poison type and that one I was really close to doing that one too, but I, but when I started 
the line art for the rhino i really got into it and i'm just like i like him better so i did right glow i might show a picture of what the water poison one would have looked like maybe maybe near the end i'm not sure yet but it would have been a water type and not a rock fire so yeah but yeah i'm glad i did right glow really proud of it this is probably like one of my favorite drawings i've done in a long time all because i actually took my time and i knew i could take my time but i just never decided to take my time when i did the speed paint so yeah so glad how this turned out <laughs> Alright, I think I'll wrap up this commentary and I'll just let the music play for the rest of the video and thank you so much for watching. Oh well, yeah, and of course check out Rose's channel. He's a really he's a really cool dude. Got some really cool stuff. He does like fan art and challenge videos and stuff like that. So yeah, check him out. Put all the stuff in the description. I'll probably put a card up. Yada yada yada. Same as always. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of the day and I hope I do another one soon. Bye everybody. <laughs>